friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to talk about the best tips and tricks to fix share play not working issues in FaceTime on iPhone and iPad. For those unfamiliar, share play is designed to let users listen to songs with Apple Music, share their screen, or co watch movies and TV shows while on a FaceTime call. By integrating access to apps from within the call itself, it enables real time connections for seamless play. Thanks to the pretty neat shared playback controls, anyone on the video call can play, pause, or jump ahead with it. Even better, share play also extends to Apple TV to let you just watch shows and movies on a big screen. So just in case share play is not working in FaceTime on your iPhone or iPad and you are wondering how to fix it, these tips can come in pretty handy. That's it, let's cut the chase. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and also hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. The very first thing that you should do is to ensure that apps are compatible with SharePlay. As of now, only a handful of apps support SharePlay. So whether you are trying to watch movies together or listen to music together or wish to use apps together, make sure that apps are compatible. Currently, Disney+, Plus, Hulu, HBO Max, Paramount+, Plus, Pluto TV, NBA TV, Twitch, TikTok, Masterclass, and ESPN Plus support SharePlay in FaceTime. As of now, only Apple Music can let you listen to music together and if you are willing to use apps together, do know that only a handful of stock apps like Files, Health and Settings apps support SharePlay. Since Apple has already introduced SharePlay, API is just a matter of time before a number of third-party apps begin to work with SharePlay in FaceTime. Now, if you are wondering, can you watch Netflix with friends on a FaceTime call? Well, unfortunately, Netflix doesn't support the FaceTime share play feature as yet. However, I do expect the streaming giant to come to the fold sooner than later. Also, I expect Spotify to integrate the share play API into its iOS app pretty soon. Just in case SharePlay is not working even in the compatible apps, then I would recommend you to give it a reboot. And with reboot, I mean turn it off and on. To get it alone, settings app on your iPhone or iPad, then scroll down and choose FaceTime. After that, tap SharePlay and then turn off the toggle. Now restart your iPhone or iPad. And once your device has restarted, come back to the same setting and then turn on SharePlay. Once your device has rebooted, try to check if SharePlay has started to work normally. If it has, then you are good to go. Just in case SharePlay is still not working on your iPhone or iPad, then I would recommend you to force restart like a hard reset your device. The reason why I suggest you to force restart is because it's pretty handy when it comes to fixing common iOS or iPad OS issues, so make sure to give it a try. On your iPhone 8 or later or iPad with our home button, press and quickly release the volume up button, then press and quickly release the volume down button, then hold down the top button or side button until you see Apple logo on the screen. On iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, you have to hold down the volume down button and side button until you see Apple logo on the screen. On iPhone 6s and iPad with home button, you have to hold down the home button and the top or side button until you see Apple logo on the screen. If you haven't yet been able to fix SharePlay issues on your iPhone or iPad, then I would recommend you to update the app. The outdated app might be causing the problem. To update the app, simply open App Store. After that, make sure that Today tab is selected, then tap on your profile located at the top right corner of the screen, then scroll down and find the app that you want to update, and then hit the update button and you are good to go. If the problem persists, then I would suggest you to reset all settings. The reason why I recommend this radical solution is because it's known to fix complex iOS and iPad OS issues. To get it and simply launch settings app on iPhone or iPad. After that, select general, then scroll down to the bottom and choose reset, then hit reset all settings and confirm the action. Do know that it will put your device to factory settings, wiping out all the existing settings. However, all of your media and data will remain secure. If none of the tricks has worked in fixing SharePlay issues in FaceTime on your iPhone or iPad, then I guess the problem could be due to an annoying bug or 
outdated software and in this case the best way to fix the problem is to go for software update. More often than not Apple religious software updates with plenty of bug fixes and performance enhancements. That's why it's always recommended to keep the software updated. To get it and simply launch settings app and then choose general. After that tap on software update and then download and install the latest version of iOS or iPadOS on your device. That's all there is to it. Hopefully, you have been able to fix safe play issues in FaceTime on your iPhone or iPad. If you have, then let me know the solution that has worked for you. If you know any other solution that works in fixing safe play issues, make sure to let me know that as well. And I'll see you in the next video with more such helpful tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.